Hello, my name is Joaquin Sanchez Otelo, Division Chair for Shoulder and Surgery at Mayo Clinic. Today, I am speaking to you about RGBGS article on antibiotic prophylaxis with cefazolin being associated with a lower shoulder pre-prostatic joint infection rate than non cefazolin alternatives. We decided to conduct this study because a number of our patients undergoing shoulder arthroplasty come to surgery, quote-unquote, labeled as allergic to penicillin, a diagnosis that most of the times is actually not correct. We suspected that, as it has already been published for the lower extremity, the rate of infection will actually be higher in patients who did not receive cefazolin, which, as I said, most of the times is because of possible allergy. And we did find that, in fact, cefazolin led to a 70% reduction in infection by any bacteria and an 80% reduction in infection by C. acnes. As a result, I would recommend all shoulder arthroplasty surgeons to use cefazolin in their patients unless there is clear documented allergy to penicillin and similar medications. Even for those patients where you will use vancomycin because they're coming from a nursing home or have nasal colonization for MRSA, I would still add cefazolin to the treatment. And finally, if you have patients that come to your clinic claiming that they are allergic to penicillin, I think it's really worth to investigate that claim because oftentimes they're actually not truly allergic. Thank you very much for listening.